Welcome to another edition of Tasker Tutorials 101. This is a lesson seven, and we're going to be doing a project announce who's texting. So we're going to create uh, a, a, a profile and task that whenever we receive a text message, it will announce who is texting us. So we're going to start with task. We're going to create the task first. So we're going to click the plus button. We're going to give it a name. Um, who text? Sounds like a good name to me. Oh, it already exists. Uh, yes, that's probably what I called it when I created it for myself. Who text two? How does that sound? So who text two? We're going to click the plus button to add our first task. And we're going to go to miscellaneous. And we're going to use the uh, action say. Say could also be described as speak. Because it makes your phone say or speak something. So we click say. Now the text that uh, we're going to have it say. First we are going to have it say a variable. The variable is the name of the person who text. Now if you click the little tags, as you know, clicking the little tags basically brings up a list of variables. Both variables that you've created, which start with the percent sign, as well as the built-in variables, which are below. And we're going to go down to text. Now you see there's various things you could have it say. The text body, the text date, the text from, text from name, text subject, text time. Now the difference between text from and text from name, text from would be the uh, phone number that the text was received from. The text from name is the person who texted you. So we're going to use text from name. So that's our variable. Now that we've got that, we can add how we want it to say it. Um, I'm going to move the cursor in front and say... You received a text from, and then space, make sure there's a space so that uh, it sees the variable has its own thing. So now it's going to say you received a text from and the name of the person. Now, as far as the voice engine goes, you should basically just leave that as default. And uh, then it'll just use whatever voice system, text-to-speech system you have set uh, on your Android phone as your default. Stream, now that is important. Um, because you can have this uh, uh, sound come through any of the streams that are available on your phone. So a call stream, system stream, ringer stream, media stream, alarm stream, notification stream. Uh, generally, a lot of people will use media. Um, I personally like to use notification because this to me is a notification. This is something you might use instead of having a notification ringtone when you get a text from someone or in addition to. But it's a notification. I want it to go through the notification stream. So that's what I'm going to select. And then you can select the pitch and the speed uh, that you want it to be uh, read at. Obviously, these things are also... Uh, controlled in default in your settings on your phone you set uh, whatever you want the voice engine to use so I just leave these under as they are which is basically five which is the mid-range and then continue task immediately that's if you're gonna have another task something else happen after it speaks we are not so we don't have to worry about that and then uh, if we talked about that before. That's if you want to enter a context. So you only want this to happen if something. We're not going to worry with that because we're not going to have, we're not going to send any context. Uh, we don't need a label and we don't need to worry about continuing task after error because there isn't going to be any other task right now. So that's basically it. We're going to click the uh, save button, which also kind of looks like a back button. But uh, there you go. There's your, your task. It's, Say you received a text from, and then the variable that is the name of the person who texted you. And that's really all you have to do for that. But now we need a way to make that happen. That's your task. 
but we need to trigger it to actually happen. So let's go to profiles and let's create a profile. So we're going to create a profile text received and I'm going to click the check button and so we're going to use an event because we want this to trigger when an event happens on our phone. So click event and then I'm going to click phone because phone basically has all the things that basically all the things that our phones used to do before they were smartphones and they were just phones which is phone calls and text and you see one of the options is received text so we're going to say receive text now type you can have any or just MMS or SMS I want it to announce regardless so I'm going to use any and then sender if you click the magnifying glass you'll see some options for this single contact any favorite contact or any contact now if you leave this blank then it's going to attempt to announce that information regardless of any text you receive if you select single contact then you can select one contact from your phone and it will only trigger if that contact has texted you or you can select any favorite contact and then it will only trigger if any of your contacts that you've marked as favorites contact you so that might be something you want to do or you can select any contact um, again this isn't any any text you receive it's if you receive a text from someone who is in your contacts on your phone and that's what I want to do anytime anyone who's there on my phone is a contact then I want it to announce and then uh, that's all we're going to use content that's if you want something to trigger based on the content that's in the text message we're not going to worry about that with now for now this is all we really need to do so we're going to go back and then it's going to ask us well what task do we want to trigger with that well we just created the who text to so we're going to select that so when we receive a text message from any of my contacts it triggers the task that we created which announces the name of the texter so we're gonna give this a try should be all set to go I'm gonna use uh, Google Voice and I'm going to text myself Google. So you see it announced you received a text from Eric Google, which is the name that my Google Voice account has in my contacts. So pretty easy task but very useful. Um, as you can tell I just have like a, a quick little ring as my text notification and then allow uh, the task or task to announce the person who's texting me is my main notification. So pretty simple but pretty useful app. Um, or not app, but uh, Tasker profile and task to announce who's texting. Uh, we are going to have a couple of follow-ups to this lesson that uh, gets a little more advanced with this. Uh, but that's it for this lesson. Uh, please click the like button if you like this tutorial. If you know of anyone who might have Tasker, be interested in having Tasker, and would be interested in having uh, their phone announce who's texting them, then you can go ahead and uh, uh, share it with them on Reddit or Google Plus or Facebook, any of those methods. Uh, one thing I'm going to say real quick, only because I forgot to say it before in task, one of the reasons why you might want to choose the notification stream is when you put your phone into silent or vibrate mode, it uh, often will uh, lower the volume levels of the notification and ringer stream, but not the media stream, which means uh, unless you have a a third party app like True Silent uh, muting the media stream for you whenever you put your phone in a vibrate or silent then you might have your phone announcing someone who's texting you when you don't want it to but by using the notification stream that won't happen so 
I wanted to throw that in there because it just occurred to me that I, I didn't say that before. But anyway, uh, yeah, share this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, add the playlist to uh, your account so you can keep up with future lessons. And uh, that's about it. Until next time, have fun with Tasker.